Cause experimental design definition example features types and pros and cons of using cause experimental design. What is a cause experimental design? A cause experiment is an observational study that seeks to measure the effect of an intervention by comparing outcomes under conditions that are as similar as possible. A cause experimental design does not involve random assignment. Instead, participants are assigned to groups based on existing characteristics such as gender or treatment history. A cause experimental design is a type of experimental design that does not meet all the requirements for a true experiment. Specifically, cause experiments lack random assignment to conditions. Cause experimental design are a type of research design that is often used in the social sciences. Cause experimental designs are often used in situations where random assignment is not possible or practical despite not meeting all the criteria for a true experiment. Cause experimental designs can still be useful in providing evidence for causal relationship. Cause experimental designs are often used when it is not ethical to randomly assign participants to groups such as when investigating the long-term effects of a treatment. Example of a cause experimental design one example of a cause experimental design is a before and after study. In a before and after study, the researcher observes the participants in the treatment group before and after they receive the treatment. The researcher also observes a control group that does not receive the treatment. The researcher then compares the two groups to see if there is a difference in the outcome variables of interest. Another example of a cause experimental design is an interruptive time series design. Cause experimental design versus experimental design. This type of design is similar to experimental design, but there is one key difference. In cause experimental designs, the researcher does not have complete control over the assignment of subjects to treatment and control groups. This means that there is the potential for confounding variables to impact the results of the study. Cause experimental design versus true experiment. Cause experiments differ from true experiments in that they do not randomize subjects to different conditions, but they can still be useful for measuring the causal effects of an intervention. Features of cause experimental design The key features of a cause experimental design include presence of an independent variable. In a cause experimental design, there is an independent variable that is manipulated by the researcher. This independent variable is what allows the researcher to test for causality. Absence of random assignment in a cause experimental design, participants are not randomly assigned to conditions. This means that there may be confounding variables that could impact the results of the study. Use of control groups Control groups are used in cause experimental design to control for confounding variables. Types of cause experimental design Non equivalent group design, pre test post test control group design, Solomon 4 group design, regression discontinuity, natural experiment. Let's study them in detail. Non-equivalent group design The non-equivalent group design is the most popular type of cause experimental design. In this design, the researcher does not randomly assign subjects to treatment and control groups. Instead, the researcher assigns subjects to groups based on some pre-existing characteristics such as gender or grade level. The non-equivalent group design is a research method used to compare two groups that are not equivalent. This type of design is often used in educational research to compare the effectiveness of different instructional methods or treatment. An example of a non-equivalent group design would be a study comparing the academic achievement of students in two different schools. The first school might be an inner city school with a high poverty rate and the second school might be a suburban school with a low poverty rate. The researcher wants to compare the academic achievement of the students in each school, but because the two groups are not equivalent, he or she would need to use a non-equivalent group design. In this type of design, the researcher would need to account for the differences between the two groups by matching participants on important variables. Advantages of non-equivalent group design Less expensive and time-consuming than other designs, easy to recruit participants for this type of study, Less likely to be confounded by extraneous variables than other designs. Disadvantages Can be difficult to ensure that the two groups are truly non-equivalent. This design does not allow for randomization of participants, which could lead to selection bias. Pretest post test control group design A pretest post test control group design is an experiment in which there is a control group that does not receive the treatment and a separate group that does receive the treatment. The groups are compared on the post test which measures the outcome variable. The pretest measures the dependent variable before any treatment has been applied. 
This design is used to study cause and effect relationship. Example of a pretest post is group design. One group of students might be taught using traditional methods while another group is taught using more innovative methods. The researcher would then compare the scores on a post to see if there was any difference in learning. Advantages Allows the researcher to see if there is a difference between the two groups on the outcome variable after controlling for any pre-existing differences. Disadvantage Can be expensive and time-consuming to administer both a pretest and post-test. This design does not allow the researcher to make any inferences about causality. Solomon for group design This type of design is named after its inventor Dr. Paul Solomon. He developed this method in the 1960s as a way to improve upon existing methods for studying the effects of treatments. In a Solomon 4 group design, there are four groups of participants, each of which experiences a different condition. A Solomon 4 group design is a type of experimental design that is used to study the effect of treatment on study participants. This design is used when there are four groups of participants and each group receives a different treatment. The results of the study can then be analyzed to see if there are any significant differences between the groups. This design is used to compare two treatments by using a control group and a placebo group. Advantages Minimizes the amount of variability between groups. Disadvantages Require a large number of participants in order to be effective. This can make it difficult to find enough people who are willing to take part in the study. Regression discontinuity Regression discontinuity occurs when the value of a dependent variable changes abruptly as the value of an independent variable passes through a specified point. This point is known as the breakpoint. The breakpoint can be either an explicit value or a virtual value that is based on the mathematical formula. Regression discontinuity can be caused by many factors including changes in policy, changes in technology and changes in market conditions. It is important to identify regression discontinuity in order to properly interpret data and make decisions about future course of action. A regression discontinuity occurs when a predictor variable is not randomly assigned but there is a threshold that determines who does and does not receive the treatment. This non-random assignment creates two groups, those who are just above the threshold, the treated group, and those who are just below the threshold, the control group. The difference in outcomes between these two groups can then be attributed to the treatment. Example of regression discontinuity Consider a program that provides tutoring to students who are just below the cutoff for passing their grade level. Students who receive tutoring, the treated group will likely see an increase in their grades. The students who do not receive tutoring, the control group will likely see a decrease in their grades. The difference in these outcomes can be attributed to the group itself. Types of regression discontinuity There are two types of regression discontinuity. Positive Regression Discontinuity and Negative Regression Discontinuity Positive Regression Discontinuity Positive Regression Discontinuity occurs when the dependent variable increases as the independent variable passes through the breakpoint. Negative Regression Discontinuity Negative Regression Discontinuity occurs when the dependent variable decreases as the independent variable passes through the breakpoint. Natural Experiment a natural experiment is a quasi experiment that occurs when circumstances allow for an observational study to be conducted under conditions that approximate a controlled experiment. Natural experiments are often used to study situations in which it would be unethical or impractical to conduct a controlled experiment, such as when investigating the long term effect of exposure to a naturally occurring toxin. Natural experiments are not true experiments because the investigator does not manipulate the exposure of interest and cannot randomize subjects to different groups. However, natural experiments can provide useful information about causal relationship. When well designed, natural experiments can yield results that are similar to those of randomized controlled trials. There are some factors that must be considered when designing a natural experiment, including selection bias, confounding factors, exposure misclassification. Natural experiments are often criticized for their lack of control over these important variables. Example of natural experiment One well-known example of a natural experiment is the case of lead poisoning in children living in inner city housing. Lead paint was commonly used in homes built before 1978 and children living in these homes are at risk for exposure to lead if the paint begins to deteriorate. In 1992, the US government banned the use of lead-based paint, providing a natural experiment to study the effects of lead exposure on children's health. Pros of cause experimental design It can be used to study naturally occurring phenomena in real-world settings. Allow researchers to control for extraneous variables that might confound the results of an experiment. 
Designing cause experiments can be ideal for determining what is best for the population, also known as external validity. Used to study rare events or a population that would be difficult or impossible to study using a traditional experimental design. Can provide more information about causality than correlational designs. Cons of cause experimental design. It rely on observational data which can be less reliable than data collected through controlled experiments. It offers less internal validity than true experiments. It may allow the researcher's personal bias to be taken into account. It does not use randomly assigned groups so it is difficult to determine if the results are due to the intervention or other factors. Thank you for watching this video.